Welcome back to SnowRunner Season 13 Dig and Drill, Episode 3, with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, another instalment of SnowRunner, Kazakhstan. I was thinking about going back to the Wilma. I really, really did enjoy that in the first episode. Um, we had a bit of a, a go with the Bruiser. I've done a little bit of work on the, uh, the Azov Atom. Just added a back on it and just done a few tweaks with lights and stuff like that. Um, one I haven't used yet is the Resvani tank. That looks like a chocolate lime. I've just suddenly realised looking at that. Um, there's the, is it the Hercules? The six-wheeler. I think I might have used it a little while back. The rock grinder we did on season 12. Um, bit of a G-Wagon vibe to that. They're, they're getting a little bit samey, I'm not going to lie. I mean, obviously they're different designs. But... Was it the Neo? There was the Neo one, wasn't it? That looked very similar as well. The Neo Falcon. They've all got a similar vibe to them. But anyway, I thought I was even considering going on a bit of a Rhinoc Rampage. Because I did like that. That was pretty cool. That ran very well. I can't remember if I did any modifications to that. could change the colour. But anyway, I think it's on that. But I think we're going to start off. I'm going to give this Resvani tank a go. Let's go tanking. I've no idea. I can't remember what, what modifications I did to this because I did modifications ages ago. Let's leave the garage. Uh, what time of day is it? Let's check the map. Uh, six in the evening. It's going to start getting dark, but that's okay for the time being. Lights, that. Oh, it's very quiet. I didn't realise it was running. What does that remind me of? Not raised, but. Anyway, in this episode, I'm going to go out and see if we can get some more updates. Updates. Upgrades. This is a strange looking thing. I might skip it till the morning. So yeah, we'll give this a go. If this gets bogged down or stuck or we're really struggling or I don't know, if we roll it on its roof or anything. I was thinking of maybe going to one of my Land Rovers, the, the 90, I haven't used the 90 for a while, but I, I really fancy giving the Rhinoc a go. I'm just enjoying going, hammering around the map, you know, I'll say hammering around the map. Like I said, I was going to revert back to the Wilma because I, I just like the challenge of that, the way it interacts, the physics of it. Sorry, zoom in now. It works really well. I think I've got an idea of the direction I need to head first, but I'll, I'll check on the map in a minute. Um, if, you, if, you, if you come back, if you're rejoining me, that's awesome. Oh, it's got a bit of a woo -wah, woo -wah every now and again, you know. Whoa, whoa, barrier. Lights are pretty cool. Now, I rolled the Wilma here, didn't I? So I've got to be careful in this ditch. Bit of suspension travel, not too bad. See what upgrades we can get. I want to try and, I mean, I say, this, this one's been out a while, hasn't it, season 13? And I said when I came back on here, I'm just coming on to play. I'm just, you know, it's not a tutorial of, of the map or anything like that. Just just me playing and doing what I do, usually. Um, I want to unlock the vehicles. So I want to try and find the missions that require that, maybe, at some point. If we come across them, maybe while we're out and about doing our stuff. It might be I've passed one already, I've, you know. Now for once, this is from memory. I'd had a quick look at the map before I started recording. I thought, yeah, that'd be all right. Now normally my brain goes and I'm like, oh, okay, I can't remember the route. I'm going to have to check again in a minute. We'll see if we can mop some up. This is actually working pretty well. We haven't come to any particularly thick mud yet, but... That does sound pretty cool. But it is working pretty well. Uh, I think we need to go this way. Every now and again. Right, now I am going to check the map. So we're here. Yes, I was right. Brilliant stuff. 
Um, so, our first one is there. Let's come off that. I'm still going to be on there anyway. Um, first upgrade's there, we're going to go for. Second one is over here, which should be fairly straightforward. Might try and go a little bit further over to unlock some of the map, actually, because we're at the map edge there. Uh, and then we'll head... So it's worth going back to the garage then heading out because we've got then the upgrades that are further to the hang on west. <laughs> I'm just trying, just turning the compass around the say the correct way. Yeah. But the question is, can we get to this one? Let's skip time. Uh oh yeah. There we go. So we need to go up there. in our chocolate lime. Oh, right, it's down there. Oh, that's interesting. How do I get down there? Ah. The usual, have a look at the map as the crow flies. Spin around that way. All oh, right, we probably should have come in along this track here. If we'd come in along that track there, we could have just gone up to it there. Okay, well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Can I get around... Mind you, I've done this before. Can I get around and then it just all goes to... It all goes to pieces, quite frankly. I decided that retreat was the better part of valour. <laughs> so... Oh, I've done it again. Right, so what I've done... Came back from where we were over here. Because there, I was, there was no way I was getting around there. Um... Yeah, so we are now here. We'll take this route round, go across that little bridge, and we'll go around that way. We should be able to get to it a bit easier. He says... Why is my map not working? There we go. Well, it's, it's, a, it's proving to be a little bit of a tank so far. It's doing all right. I, I wasn't actually... Um, I didn't have much faith in it, let's just say that. I kind of thought, well, I don't know how it's going to go. I can't remember what the tyres... There's, um, it was one of the DLCs, wasn't it? I think I've got it in the description. There were the extra tyre option... There was an extra tyre option mod. Whoa, not down there. It's this way. Anyway, I've got a set of those on. Not J boosted. J boosted is one of the is one of the mods, isn't it? I'm gonna check my notes. What do my notes say? I'm sure I've got um. What was it? Or did I just put something really helpful like season pass DLCs? Yeah, I did. Comment they called. If we go into the menu at any point, I'll have a look. But. Right across this bridge here. Do you guys have a specific vehicle you kind of default to? I mean, I've, I've gone through various different ones through... I mean, bearing in mind we're on Season 4 now. So this is not Season 4. We're on the Year 4 Season Pass. Season 13. So four years since the release of this. 2020. That's nuts. When I think of where I started out playing and all the mods and all the stuff and things that have happened and you know in those four years, COVID and all the you know all the stuff, my default vehicles have changed massively over that time. The things I enjoy driving and using, I suppose it depends on the missions as well, because I will default back to certain vehicles for hauling and you know things like that, but my scout type vehicles, when you think, when we looked through, um, did we look from the last episode, I'm trying to think, the menu, and I go right down to the Khan, there's the original Khan, and there's the, um, oh, 
is it? Whoa, okay. Slide that down a little bit. There we go. Bit different to the bruiser, wasn't it? That thing just. Maybe this is getting through it, but the bruiser just seemed to skip over the top like it was nothing. As much as I like that, I, I, I liked the vehicle, and I like, you know, if you're at a point where you just want to get around a map, then you want to pick something that's just going to, you know, my, um, I've got the Taz Tatarin, Tatarin, by J Boosted, um, I think I've got an, a GGMS one as well, and they're just absolute animals, if you want to get around a map and unlock it quickly, that's the sort of vehicle you want to go for, but I, I am enjoying, like I said, using the Wilma, kind of reminded me especially coming back from expeditions to this the fun and enjoyment of the struggle which is not everyone's cup of tea I totally understand that but there are vehicles that I have dismissed out of hand a few times thinking oh I don't you know it's just not my thing really like this I wasn't going to use it but it's working all right available for the current truck what is it available for the AAC 58TW okay okay right next one then no I don't know if that's a um, farming simulator menu thing is that why I'm pressing that why I'm pressing that so we need to get from here can I get back out over here anywhere not really don't think I do the climb out of there nope so it's gonna be back the way we just came can I get across there I wouldn't have thought so. That looks like it'd be the quickest way out. Um, we're heading to this one. So if I mark it, let's drive ahead a little bit, just see. It looks like a big old rock. I don't think I'll get over it. I might have done in that other thing, but not, not, I don't think I will in this. I think this bit is designed pretty much specifically to stop you doing that very thing. Oh, is there a gap? There might be a ledge. Can I get over this sofa? Oh, maybe not. I think this has been put in to stop that. <laughs> stop that! It's silly and a bit dangerous. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah. That's annoying. That would have been perfect. Right. And I've gone back to my thing that I talk about a lot on Farming Simulator of, of that paying attention to the details, taking the time to, you know, rather than just that thing of I need, I must get across the map. And, and, I, and like I say, when you've finished doing all the scouting, unlocking of the map, getting upgrades, whatever, for whatever reason you've come onto a map for, if like on a map like this or any of the seasons we've had, this is dig and drill. And you move on to the, the jobs and the missions where you're transporting things around the map, whether it be concrete blocks, whether it's cement, whatever it might be, timber, lumber, you know, because you've got to clear blockages, whatever it is you've got to do. Oh, can we get out there? I've done this before as well, haven't I? Oh yeah, that looks like an easy route out. Let's go that way. Um... that you, you kind of, you get into that thing of, I just need to get this done, you know? But it is nice every now and again, just to pay attention to the physics, the movement, the suspension, the, you know, the vehicle dynamic, everything, you know? I know people go on a lot about, wouldn't it be great to have this sort of thing, this, on Farming Simulator, the mud physics and stuff like that. And it's very difficult, because people say, well, it works on SnowRunner. The thing you've got to remember as well, though, on a game like this, on SnowRunner and Expeditions and stuff like that, your main focus is driving of vehicles, and the ground dynamics is a massive part of that. If you look at Farming Simulator and you take in all the game physics of every other thing you've got to be able to do, including the weather and seeding and ploughing and cultivating and all the different elements that have to come together for that to work, ploughing of fields and all of it, could you add in all of this as well? I mean, you probably could. This is not going to be my 
finest moment, is it? Whoa, that something there that it doesn't like. I thought, no, that's, that's a rock face or something. No winch points, what am I stuck on? Okay. That bit there. I'll just get over that. Oh, yeah, there's something there. Something he's not liking. Trying to roll over. No winch points. Yeah, I don't think. Like I say. Oh, I've done it again. Just, I just wanted to get around there. Just, just up around there. No winch points. I need an anchor. It's not expeditions. Oh, come on. Recover or send out a recovery vehicle. I'm going to recover this time. I don't often do that. Oh, actually, while we're here, that's what we can do. We go to customize and we go to our tyres, JAT. Yeah, it's showing the purple little icon. What did that stand for? I can't remember. Anyway, it's, um, yeah. I thought I wrote it down somewhere. But that was a DLC, which has added in a whole lot of tyre options. So, do I carry on with this, or do I pick a different vehicle now to go forward? Should I get the res... Should we go with... You know what I might do. Let's retain that. Let's go to... No, not truck store. I'm going to get out of the... Uh, Let's go with the Rhinoc Rampage, shall we? Why not? Do I need to... Because I seem to be losing customise options on this. No, no, maybe not. It might be alright. It's only stock suspension, tyres. We've only got very limited selection. Average, excellent, excellent. Good, excellent, good. Ex Do I go for the chains or shall I leave it on that? Uh, we've got no ice on here, have we? We'll leave it on that. Tell him a scout. Yeah, let's leave it on all that. I can't remember the last time I used this. Does this have a radar as well? Hang on a minute. Let's go up on there. Yeah, activate radar. the route we originally did so I'll see you over there in a minute so because basically what we're doing from here we're going back the route we just we did earlier all the way around there to there round there now we went to that point where was it we went to this point and decided okay that's not going to work so we came back around and then we went down there so we've got to head out, out over to this point here so it's just a mid case of following that track along. So we got to there. So I'll see you there in a moment. I still keep going to press cruise control. <laughs> Not farming simulator. That's a lot faster on the road there, I remember. Okay. We've hit the bend. That's where we were. A mild suspension damage. I hit a rock, but nothing major. The views are incredible. Absolutely incredible. See how we do through the thick mud. Okay, not too bad. It wasn't too thick and mud actually, it's just more deep water. It's interesting because when I was driving the wheel in the first episode I did on here, um, the mud just seemed, it was ludicrous. We were just pushing them up, but I suppose we were all lower down we were in it rather than on it, I suppose. This may be another one that's going to be difficult to get to. 
should have checked out the train ahead of time. Potentially. Do we have a blockage ahead? Potentially. I mean, this, this being six wheel drive really helps. It's quite tall and it's quite narrow. So the risk of toppling is there, obviously. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get over that, are we? All round. Will we get around it? No. Nope. This isn't showing as a blockage that can be cleared, though, is it? Can we get around there? Or can we get up and over it? Uh, maybe. Let's just check the map. Oh, it doesn't look like the pipeline's there. Uh, I wonder if we can get down this bit here and just come along to it. It looks like there's a bit we can come up there, but it's whether we can get around this pipeline or not. I don't think we can actually. I say it's not showing. Um, again, this is probably one of those ones with a smaller vehicle. I probably could have gone. Oh, can we get through that gap? don't think we can. This is too big. A Wilma? Yeah, we've really got through there, no problem. This is going to be the same as the other blockage. I don't think we're going to be able to just muscle our way over it. Uh, there's not enough gap down the side of the cat. Pipeline to the side here. Again, I don't think we'll be able to get over it. Mm, that's a problem. Which I guess is the point of the train, isn't it? Make, make you consider your life choices <laughs> and your options. Oh, yeah, look. He says. Okay, dangerous. Let's drop it down a cog. Let's go roll it. There we go. Look, plenty of space. He says, No bother. No bother when you're on a Rhinoc rampage. Not really much of a rampage, is it? It's a, it's a very British. We're on a rampage. Are we? Well, you know, I mean, a mild rampage. We don't want to go mad, do we? That's not, you know. <laughs> we don't want to get a reputation of being a little bit rampagey, you know. Let's be. Hang on. Hmm. Hum ha, hum ha. We need to be on this level, don't we? Well, mind you, no, I said like we could maybe get up there. Oh, this isn't going to work, is it? I, I'm doing the usual. I thought, oh yeah, this will be a piece of cake today. We'll get over. We'll do a bit of this. We'll do a bit of that. Don't see the problem. Um. <gasps> Little winching. Come on. We go. Oh, this terrain's a little bit. Uh... If I go across there, I'm going to roll it because that's steep that side. I'm going to get up and over this way. And then this way. There we go. This is. Well, I mean. Should we have just stayed on the road? Probably. So where, where's the bit my brain said? Oh yeah, we'll get up there. Oh yeah, a bit further along. If there's a winching point at the top, we might be alright. 
six wheel drive, we might be alright. Up there. Ah, yeah, look at that. I mean, how many times have I said that now? That'd be alright, wouldn't it? We are sustaining more and more damage. So, what we'll do, six wheel drive, let's get a low box. We have diff lock on all the time anyway. Try not to turn against the hill. Oh, look at that. Slowest rampage you've ever seen in your life. Two down. <laughs> Just another what set five to go, is it? Oh, for the Fanis 19450 KT. Nice. I don't know what that is. I should do. Right, back down off here. That looks interesting. I said I was going to try and extend some of the map. Oh, mind you, hang on. I'll tell you what we can do. I'll tell you what we can do. Let's do that. Back to the map. There we go. Not quite to the corner. Oh, I should have come back a bit further, but anyway. Okay, that's unlocked. So I just wondered if there was any more upgrades. You never know. You watch, there's going to be one right here in the corner, isn't there? We're going to miss it completely. How's that road looking? That's not too bad. Where are we heading to now? Because we need to get to our next one. I think maybe if we follow that road and we do another couple of radars out this way, and then um, we can have a look. Yeah, just in case. We need to head out to that one. That one. That one. I think we've got the others. I keep trying to scan the map. I'm looking for vehicles. Because you can often see them on a map. But I can't, I'm not sure if this one, that looks like an entrance, you know, when you've got to go on to the next map. I don't know if this is a singular, singular map or not, I can't remember. Like I say, I've just kind of come back on, I haven't done, you know, often when a new season comes out, if I'm kind of Johnny on the spot with it, oh no, I don't want to do that, uh, delete that. If I'm kind of Johnny on the spot with it, I'll do all my kind of research and my due diligence. But I, I just kind of decided, oh, let's, let's go, I'll come on and play. The season's been on here, I haven't played on it. Let's grab some vehicles and go, you know. I said the next one coming out, season 14, is going to be a more of a farm based one again, which I suppose that link over from Farming Simulator will be a little bit stronger, I suppose. Oh, I can't remember what recovery, uh, not recovery, what repair points we've got, but I might to do a little bit. Our engine's taking a bit of a a bit of a hammering. Let's just check on that. Not radar repair. So let's go with that. And there we go. That should help a little bit. Oh, dead end here, is it? I think I'm going the opposite direction to the direction I'm supposed to be going in, but I thought if I can do another radar out this way, I might locate something. Is this already shown on the map? Oh no, a little bit further out. Oh yeah, we are coming back towards the road, that's alright. Let's check out this installation. So the 
detail on these maps is incredible. There we go, now we're into the corner. Uh, no. No more... Upgrades, but... I'm going to follow that road. Let's head out, see what happens. If anything exciting appears while we're on our route. This has got a look of... Um, I mean, I don't know if it is, I mean, it probably is. The Rhinoc, is it no, the South African, you know, the, the big old armoured vehicles? It looks like one of those. What was that brilliant film? It was set in South Africa with the alien invasion and stuff. What was that? Was it District 9? No. Maybe. Can't remember. Anyway, it looks like those. With the angled hull and stuff like that, which I suppose you get on a lot of um, armoured vehicles and stuff now. The IEDs and stuff like that, but... Into the sunset we go. Ooh. Okay, bridge is out. Around. I'll say it shouldn't be too deep. Oh, what a Okay. Wow. Um, slow it down a bit. We are stuck. No, they're ahead of us. Not expecting that. Where's our winch connected to? Is that tree directly in front of us? Okay, let's try something else. Let's go with attach winch. There we go. We got to that point. Do the same thing again, but from the back this time. Blimey, this is, um, I was not expecting this. We're not going to get to those other. Every episode, I think, oh yeah, we'll just blitz through. I suppose what I should be doing is. Um, oh. Let's try that again. If we can get to that one up there. Nope. Nope. Oh no. Slow revs. Are we moving even slightly? Come on, just enough. OK, 
Campbell. This is worrying for the next section. Wow. I thought this would be a breeze, but um Okay, I may I may see you out the other side of this. Telegraph poles are your friends. <laughs> Morning. One last section. Come on. If we can get into it fast. Still not at a point we can. Oh no, we're just too far. <laughs> Blimey! Curious to see what this task is. We don't use the detour that often, but the asphalt road to the plant is really worn out. Rock also isn't particularly stable, thanks to the mining. Could you check the route? Um, we, we, that's what we've just. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we've just done that. I'm not going back again. I need to. I need to hurry up. We need to get to the next upgrade. At least we'll have done maybe three. Oh, this is a rock pool or something. Not another crevice. That kind of. Right, we are here. Doesn't do us any favours going that way. Um, where's the next one? Oh blimey, that's a long way, isn't it? Mind you, if we can get through, wind up here, as long as there's nothing in the way, I suppose, next thing to do, let's do that. That, that. That's looking alright. Just follow that out. Right, I'll see you up there in a minute. Um, yeah. Could have gone round, but... Nothing for the mighty Rhinoc. Okay, next big junction. What's our best way around here? 
Uh, right, we can, um, we could take that route and come up there and that way. We could carry straight on the road, which kind of makes more sense really. And then from here, take a left there to that junction and then out. Yeah, that's probably the best bet in it, do you reckon? Let's take a marker there, marker there. Mind you, where's that? Oh yeah, we should be able to get back up to it that way. Oh, that's the route we came round there, didn't we? Yeah, 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 we did in, in the first episode. And I said if I, if I realised I would have come back up for it. So on that junction there, right. We should get three. The last two I might end up doing off camera. Um, yeah, maybe. So, chocolate, lime and rhinoc today. Just suddenly noticed my fuel situation. I don't know, maybe I'll do one more episode. Might get one of the Land Rovers out and do the uh, last two. Yeah, maybe. And then once that's done, we're on to missions. We'll start knocking off whether it's bridges, rubble, that kind of stuff, or whether we start, because I think it's airport jobs, there's all sorts of things. A very British rampage. Sound like the name of a film. A farce of some description. Okay. I need to go anyway. So can I get up there? There are tracks there. Three upgrades. The IAC 58 DW again. Okay, just thinking, have I got time? Have I got time for one more? Which will leave just one off camera. Uh, if we follow that road, which we did in the other thing, then we can cut. Hmm. Yeah, we just follow it. Follow it to that junction. Whiz across there. We should be able to get to the next one pretty easily. Should we, should we do one more? We might as well, yeah. We should be able to get there. Even if I edit a little bit of the... Uh, And then let's turn right at that junction there. Cool. Yeah, and let's do one more. At least we have four done, won't we? If it's a, if it's a straight run through and we don't have any issues at all, I might edit out a bit of the drive through because you know what I'm saying. We did this bit in the um, the Wilma tree. <laughs> well, I tried to go up over there, and it didn't work. It probably could have done, but um, I bottled it, I'm not going to lie. So this is where the mud was really deep that I was talking about, and the Wilma struggled a little bit. So we'll see if this just hoons through it, because it's um, just much higher, bigger wheels. <laughs> yep. What mud? What are you talking about? Yep. Definitely. All the bits I was trying to go around with the wheel, man. Oh, yes. That's six wheel drive for you. I have got fuel reserves, I was just saying, I was just gonna say, can I do it without running out of fuel, but I don't want to be too far past, didn't 
Oh yeah, we went through this bit, didn't we? This will be a pass that will need to be cleared at some point. But we should be able to, as we did with the Wilma, This might actually just go up on its own. Maybe not. It's stuck on a rock there. Oh, careful. That's what I did with the Wilma, didn't I? So I've got to, I have to be careful there. I just thought we'd be able to get out of that lip there. Come on. All martial, no art. Come on. This has been fun. Up right here. And just over there. Nice, which leaves one. I'll do the one off camera. I'm not sure how I am for editing time. I might be over. I might be under and could have done the last one, but... There we go. Again for the AAC. Actually, before we finish, what I'm going to do, let's turn the engine off. We're going to here, go across one. Kaz Minerals, Zerbi uh, District Mayor's Office. So these are the ones that are open first. Construction rig semi trailer. Okay, so it's just that's just grabbing some gear. That's delivering stuff. Okay. Oh, minecarts. Just trying to look to see. This is not a drill, I don't know. Okay. And then what's under this one? Airport terminal, cement, metalworks, garbage. Okay. Okay. Bloodhound gang. Okay, so we could do a couple of those with a, with a decent scout. We could honk through some of those. Too many. I wonder what ones it is to get the vehicles. And that's what I say if there is another map. Anyway, all of that being said, I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said in the first two episodes, I'm having just a blast. I'm just, I'm just honking around. Oh look, this is trialing. Why is there no mission thing here? I just saw the gates. Oh, that would be just brilliant. I wonder if there is one for that. Oh, we could do it anyway. Whether there's a trial or not, we could come out and do... Just follow the course round, getting through the gates. That looks pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.